So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this... All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throw that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, he starts to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot. as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to one. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Big head kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. And he landed the right hand there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. And now he lands a combination. Back and forth we go. He got him. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Oh, nice hammer fist there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, effective strike there by Choi. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. 
Boys, and there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Throws the right hand there. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Big kick land. Flush right hand is true. Big call punch land. Now we get back to range. Hard shots landing on both sides here. He's watched the punch. Looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Big kick land. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Oh, big shot land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Swing and a miss by Shore. How about that shin? That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> Lands flush with that right hand. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. Hands high, chins low, protect yourself. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow. Oh, he might be out. Now they're both throwing with power. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, 
That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. See, it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, big punch land. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple. Huge elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. And that one was heavy. Oh, straight right. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 20 seconds left. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is now underway. Previous Ready? round, not necessarily Ready? a tough act to follow. Let's Pretty go, good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Nice. Just missed with the left there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Punch over the top. Ooh, blocks the shot. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big knee. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Nice high kick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy. Go. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Beautiful kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Joy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. 
Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Out of range with that one. Oh, beautiful hook by the Korean Super Bowl. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Troy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Just misses there with the left. Great punch. Oh. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Jeez Louise. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position.